For thousands of years, people have been tilling their soil. And they have been given and still are, are given six main reasons why they are doing it. Hi, this is Plant and Tell. In this video, we are going to look at every of these reasons and see whether it's true or myth. And we will also check them against a recent agricultural discovery and our understanding of the soil science. So let's start. Popular reason number one is soil compaction. And people actually don't specify why soil compacts. Uh, they just think that soil definitely has to compact every year um, and we need to till it every year in order to make it less compact so our plants can grow better. Well, actually, I think it's very important to understand why soil compacts. The key reason for an average home gardener is because you are walking on this soil, you are stepping on it, you press on it maybe with your hands, with your knees, when you walk um, on your plants. So if you prevent this happening, then the soil would not have a reason to compact as such. And it's very easy now to do that. I hope you heard about um, garden bed system, which is basically separating um, your soil, your land into garden beds in a way that you re can reach anywhere in those beds from specific areas um, which are next to them. Um, it's not necessarily that you need to have raised garden beds, like you can see now, um, but you just need to separate clearly those areas where you can step and where you cannot. I'll show you an example right here. So you see, I just put two um, ropes and it indicates for me that this is where I can walk. And you can already see, I just did a couple of um, weeks ago, and you can already see how compacted this soil is here. And then here, I don't walk, so the soil is not compacting. If you look at it, look, it's perfectly, perfectly well-structured soil. And it's done the way, this way, that I can, uh, from anywhere I am, I can reach any garden place just through outside of garden bed. A few more things that you need to know to prevent compaction. First of all, soil compacts much mm, better um, when it's wet. So try to avoid walking when it's wet and stepping on the soil when it's wet. Another reason why people want to till is when you have um, lay or loan and you are trying to make new garden so you already have a lot of weeds there possibly soil was also compacted before um, so tilling sometimes seems to be the best way well not that simple there are two very good ways to start a new garden on your lay or your lawn so the one of them is very popular now which is raised beds you just build um, a bed on the top of your lawn for example you put inside soil and you don't care that there is some grass um, lower down because it will decompose eventually within a year or so and become food for your plant so this is not necessarily um, the best way for many of the gardens it's very much depends on your microclimate on your soil condition and any other factors i will eventually uh, create a video about raised beds and for whom they would work and for whom they would not work. So subscribe in order not to miss this video. In the meantime, there is indeed another way uh, which takes a little bit longer, but absolutely li very, very little of your energy and it works for all soils. So what you need to do is just cover your soil with um, anything that would not let um, sun through. Um, you can use, for example, 
cardboards um, from your Amazon delivery. Um, you can use your carpets, whatever you have and whatever you don't need. You can just cover your soil in a layer of this material and wait a few months. In a few months, weeds will be deprived from sun and um, in order to get sun, they will start um, moving up the air. So what will happen in a few months, you will remove your cover and you will see that there is just a few weeds left on the top together with the um, roots. So what you will need, th those that didn't compost during this time, so what you would need, you would just easily remove those from the top of the soil and it will be perfect non-compacted soil which is ready for the gardening. Much easier than tilling everything from scratch, right? So the third reason why people till their soil is removing weeds. Um, for example, here you see lots of weeds. So how can you plant with these weeds? So if the um, story goes that if you till that, then you turn the soil and then the weeds will die. Well, it's only partially true. That would work for annual weeds. For perennial weeds, usually um, they are much more vigorous and they can um, start growing from a very little piece of root. So eventually what you do, you cut those roots while you dig the soil on multiple pieces and then you spread your weeds because from all these multiple pieces you would get new perennial weeds. So you basically give yourself more work. Another thing which happens when you do it is that um, the seeds from annual and perennial plants which are still in the soil at the different levels are getting on the top of the soil when you turn it. So eventually what happens is that um, you just bring more and more seeds onto the top layer of soil so they can grow better. Um, what current science tells us that to prevent weeds and to um, to kill them, the best way is to use organic mulch. Anything what you have which is organic, um, well, you can also do unorganic, but there are many uh, reasons why not to do it. So let's focus on organic one. You can take your grass clips, uh, leaves, potentially even kitchen scrap, whatever you have which is organic, uh, bark, for example, straw, and you put it on the layer of about 10 centimeters. Um, to make like a blanket on the top of your soil. This will deprive uh, your weeds from um, sun and eventually they, well, they will very soon will die and they will not be able to grow in this condition. In addition to this, um, it will be transforming into compost right um, on the top of your soil and will add organic matter to your soil, which is a perfect way to do um, to do it instead of um, tilling and digging out um, your weeds. And it's also much more energy efficient, so you don't need um, to do much work. The fourth reason why people till soil is to incorporate soil amendments, for example, fertilizers, um, manure, green manure, anything what you want to add to the soil. Um, the thing is that in order to do it properly, what you need to do is to distribute that um, soil amendment throughout um, the top layer of soil as evenly as possible. It's not possible to do it well just by tilling or digging your soil. Much easier way to achieve that is just, just to spread your compost, your manure, your green manure, whatever you have, on the top of the soil. And then the soil biota, for example, microorganisms or um, earthworms will themselves go up to the soil and bring this down with them to the few top few top centimeters of the soil. Yes, it would take a little bit longer than spreading it uh, by tilling, but first of all you save again a lot of energy and second of all it will last longer and the uh, effect on your soil will last longer. 
isn't it a better way forward? Finally, the fifth reason why people um, till soil is to create tills. So when you plant seeds, for example, you need to create tills in order to plant your seeds. So what happens is that you, you always um, till the few top centimeters of the soil. And then the story goes that if you do this, then eventually um, the top layer of the soil will be depleted of um, organic matter. So you need to start um, turning soil. Um, I'm not really sure that's a good explanation. However, there is much better way to achieve this, which is again putting your soil amendments or mulching or spreading your green manure or whatever you have on the top of the soil and then um, it will always add additional organic matter to your soil uh, without the need to replace it and thus building structure and health of your soil and your harvest. And with this, my, as always, very favorite reason why people till soil is because everybody does it. I think if you do it or if somebody does it because everybody does, the first question to ask is why everybody does it? Why do I need to do it? And um, the answer to this question will likely be one of the five reasons which I mentioned above. So if you do have any other reasons why you are tilling soil, please do let me know in comments and I will be sure to reply to them. But as you see from my very small analysis now, there is absolutely no need to till soil. Current gardening practices backed by agricultural science have proven that you can get the same or even better harvest without tilling soil. So in one of my next videos, I'm going to explain all the reasons for not tilling soil and why it's so great for your plants and your harvest. Subscribe in order not to miss this video and don't forget to like this one. See you later. Bye.